So here's my review of this blow dryer here. Um, so overall, I wanted to really, really love it. I don't. I, I, um, I don't dislike it. I, I will definitely use it. Um, and there's, there's features I do like. So I guess that's what I'll start with is that like, it's really, really lightweight. Um, material feels really, really nice. Um, and it doesn't run super loud. So, um, and it's very powerful. Like I can actually feel it kind of blow in that way. Um, and then you can adjust the heat. Um, so that wasn't even on the highest when I first turned it on. And then if you want to turn it to cold, you just hit that button. So some of the things that I just, that frustrate me with it, the, the placement of the buttons and that they're click and not like a slide, because as you're holding it in your hand and blow drying your hair, um, at least the way that my grip goes, I wind up accidentally clicking them. Um, and so that drives me a little bit bananas. Um, and I also don't feel like it necessarily dries my hair any better than my little $40 um, blow dryer. I'd actually even argue it's the same same wattage, same apples to apples comparison. Um, I actually feel like that one blow dries my hair faster and better. Um, and it doesn't get so hot where I feel like my hair is burning. Um, so yes, that's that's my my two cents on that. It does come with, with different accessories in, in the box and um, I have the, the one concentrator out already, so I'll just pop that one back in there. Um, so that's nice, and they click on super easy right in right in the front of front of that. And um, yeah, but out here I'll show you. I have like super long, thick hair, so it takes a really long time for my my hair to dry in general. But I just I I don't know. Um, I guess I expected a lot more especially given the, the price point of this blow dryer.